What's going on YouTube? Blaze Shadow Thorn here coming at you with our week two uh actually you know what? We have uh game audio. Actually no. Yeah, okay. I had to pick my game audio. I'm so not used to playing with game audio, but anyways, uh this is our first battle. Uh this is week two, our first week we gotta win. Because uh uh, our opponent forfeited because they they, they they left, so they forfeited. But anyways, so this is our first real game. Uh, we have a swell loss. Uh, communication was interrupted. Uh, Del Fox, Garchomp. Uh, what is that? Scrafty, Ludicolo, and Shandyler. All right, communication. With Wait, is my team legit? Like, my team, did I, did I fuck up my team? Hang on, let me test something. Free battle. If I, if I screwed up my team, I'm gonna be really disappointed in myself. They should, I shouldn't have dis, I should, my team should be legit. There's a problem with your participating Pokemon. Which one? Which, which one did I screw up? Hmm. Hang on one second, I'll pause the recording. Okay, I do apologize for that. I was an idiot, and when I was genning, um, I accidentally left, uh, I use templates a lot, so one of the templates, I just forgot to swap out a move for it. Um, and, uh, I had a knockoff Hydreigon, so that obviously wouldn't do, so. This should be fixed, um, I think. Everything should be fixed anyways, everything should be look, uh, legit looking, so, uh, he has, uh, Swellos, Delphox, Garchomp, Scrafty, Ludicolo, and Chandelier. Uh, over on my team I have a Scarfed Hydreigon, I got, a uh, Wish Passing, Isla Momoa, uh, Muscle Mass, the Expert Belt, um, Expert Belt, uh, the b, -b, -b Conk. Uh, we have Coffer, our Defensive Weezing, Frisky, our Mega Bayonet, and then Boop Merrill, our Bandit Azumarill, so, Looking for leads, probably gonna lead off with that, uh, uh, Swellos, because Swellos is looking like a mighty fine threat. Mmm. Swellos is looking like a mighty fine threat. Uh, but once that goes down, Muscle Mass handles the vast majority of his team, just like I predicted. So, I think I'm gonna lead off with Honor Guard, my, uh, Scarf Tide Dragon, and I'm gonna run a Calc to see if I can Oko with, um, Draco Meteor. I think I do, so I'm gonna pause the recording. And, uh, see, uh, what, actually, mm, I'll let it go, and then I'll pause the recording after he sends out uh, whatever mon he sends out. Uh, so let's just check our Twitter. Uh, he's, he's saying, uh, my team is scary stuff. I have, uh, Twitter pulled up on my phone, so that's what we're gonna be rolling with. Uh, he's gonna actually be rolling out with Delphox instead. Uh, I'm fine with that. Um, uh, if he's scarfed, that could be a bit of a problem, but... I'm gonna say screw it, I'm just gonna click Dark Pulse. Uh, the only thing that would be remotely scary is if he was, um, Scarfed with Dazzling Gleam. That might hurt, but that's a, that's a, that's a gamble I'm willing to make. As a, he's not, I stay in here, and, uh, it lives on, like, a non-existent Focus Ash. Was that a Min-Roll? I'm Modest Scarf, that's gotta be like a Min-Roll or something like that. Uh, either way, two Dark Pulses is enough to knock him out. Uh, so I do gang an early lead, um, Delphox goes down, I don't know if he needs this, but I'm just gonna make a note of Hydreigon, one kill. Uh, he did get up that light screen, which I have to be conscious of, so I'm gonna actually write that down. A uh, light screen, uh, I'm gonna say eight turns remaining for that. So, brings out the Garchomp, uh, I can, this is like an easy switch into Coffer, which is exactly why I have, um, Weezine. Weezine is like a poor man's check to like Landorus, uh, Garchomp, it's fantastic, I love it. So, he's gonna go for the Dragon Tail, that is gonna take like negligible da- Wow, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought, I was like, ugh. Uh, he might switch in Chandelure, which if he does, that could be a bit of a menace. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scout for the switch into, uh, Chandelure. And click Pain Split. Uh, I don't have to be either way, so if he stays and hits me up with another Dragon Claw, it'll work for me. Uh, and if he switches, it still works for me. So, um, I don't know if Pain Split works or not, but, uh, on, on a physical threat or not. But, anyways, he tries to switch in his Talos, uh, on this. Um. No, I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
I don't want to risk anything. I'm just going to go straight into Young Fog. I don't want to risk anything. I'm going to go straight into Young Fog and I'll get a Toxic off on this thing. Uh, I'm thinking this might be the one I've seen in the battle he had against... Um, it is. The air slash... The weird air slashing, brave birding, toxicing... Um, Swellos is here. Interesting. But Young Fog is here. Shout out to uh, the Foghorn. Uh, Light Screen is gone though. So we will uh, get rid of that. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to click Toxic. Uh, getting a Toxic off on anything on his team would be nice, as he has the same idea, he's gonna Toxic me. That's fine, uh, I think what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna throw up a Wish and then I'm gonna Wish Pass into something. Uh, but yep, getting a Toxic off on this Talos, uh, or Swellos anyways, is, is, is great. I need, I need this in my life. I don't know if this thing's Guts or not, but, uh, we'll definitely see, uh, I know how much damage the Air Slash does, so. It does a little bit more, uh, CV Brave Birds here. How much damage it does. Um, I am physically defensive, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to throw up a wish right here, as he most likely is going to break break me now that he has a guts boost. I don't know what item he is though. This this the swell off set is so weird. This swell off set is much weird. Um, but anyways, uh, young fog just chilling here. Look at that dramatic like pullback. But yeah, looking at his uh, team, um, he's going for the flinches. Which I'm. Okay, so if he has. As long as he doesn't Brave Bird me this turn, I think I'm primed to switch into my uh, Honor Guard, my Scarfed Hydreigon, and just Dark Pulse again. He does have that Scrafty, which is a mighty fine switch, and so I might actually just Draco for something to die. Draco, I think, is my better play. So I am going to pull a switch into Honor Guard right here. Uh, I think he's just going to Air Slash me again. He might predict the Protect and uh, try and Toxic. I don't know what he'd do at this point in time, but I'm thinking that a Brave Bird, even if he does go for Brave Bird and he is Guts, I don't think it'll be able to knock me out at full HP. And then um, the uh, the Wish, the Wish will restore a lot, most of my HP back. So I think I'm I think I'm think in a mighty fine position. We'll see if he says anything right here. Um, uh, he's, he's saying how his soul hurts, uh, which it does. And ye. Uh, he is just going to go straight away for an air slash. That does absolutely nothing to honor guard. Fantastic and wish uh, Young Fog's wish came true. Thank you, Fog. Uh, I'll link his channel down in the description below. You should definitely check him out. He makes some prime content. Uh, the Fog Core channel. Uh, he does a couple of draft leagues uh, stuff. Didn't help me prep for this. Uh, I do most of that myself. But uh, he always drafts Alamomola. So I was thinking about him when I drafted this. I was like, ye, I'll be like Fog. And uh, Fog is Fog is cool, but if you ever draft um, a Zapdos, you have to name it Fog as well, because that's his mascot. But anyways, just gonna drop a Draco right here. If he wants to predict the um, the Dark Pulse again, or no, he just doesn't predict. He just stays in and Swellos dies, which I mean I'm fine with. Swellos was I'm gonna say it was a threat just because it was fast, and um, I don't want it to, to to handle everything, but uh. That, that Hydreigon's just racking up two kills right here. If Hydreigon just like 6 0s his team. Hydra actually, at this point in time, Hydreigon does 6 0s his team. Jesus Christ. Hydreigon, chill. Chill, Hydreigon. But uh, he's going to send out Juan uh, this thing. I am at minus two. I don't feel like staying in. What's my switch in, though? I could go into Muscle Mass, but I'm not Assault Vest. I have to remember that. I'm actually Expert Belt because I wanted more power. Uh, but I do actually have Thunder Punch, though. But I'm... I... I'm going to risk him going for Scald. I think he's going to go for Ice Beam, and I'm going to switch in my, uh, Conk, Helder. Ice Beam, okay. Whew. A little scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, don't freeze me. Didn't freeze me. Uh, is he going to stay in, though? Oh, I don't actually have Thunder Punch. Oops, my bad. Uh, I forgot, this isn't the weird thunder punching one. Uh, this is just a standard one with knockoff. I'm just gonna click Drain Punch. No real reason not to. He's, is, he's gonna Scald, why? Do you not know most Conkelders are Guts? I mean, I'm not, but most Conkelders are Guts. And that, that damage should tell him that I'm not Guts. But it doesn't matter, because I can follow this up with a Mock Punch and kill him off. So Conk gets a kill right here. Unless he switches, which I don't think he would switch. Especially seeing how much damage Skull did the first time. What? 
the hell. Quick Claw. Ugh, I don't agree with that. But Kong Kel there gets uh, a nice cheeky kill right there. God, Quick Claw. Hmm. I haven't seen that competitively used in a long time. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. But um, we're we're in the lead right now, and Ludicolo goes down. So I guess his best play would to be uh would be to bring in his Chandelier. I don't really have much for Chandelier in terms of. I mean, I have um. Yep, there's a the Chandelier. My best play would be to bring back in uh, Young Fog, which I think is what I'm gonna do. If he goes for Flamethrower, fine. If he goes for Shadow Ball, I still should be able to take it. Uh, Young Fog is not specially defensive, but it is my best play, and then I Scald. Uh, I don't feel safe staying in, especially since I'm not AV uh, taking something. Uh, he goes for a Will-O-Wisp, actually. Interesting play. So uh, I made the correct assumption. I didn't even think about Will-O-Wisp, to be honest. That didn't even cross my mind. I could go for a Toxic here, but I see no reason not to go for a Scald and hope for a Burn. On something, anything. Uh, especially see if I think that's like defensive uh, chandelier. Uh, he is going to taunt me actually predicting uh, the toxic, which is a good play. Unfortunately for him, it's not the play that I made. I'm able to go for a skull. Dude, like zero damage to that thing, but still damage on damage is damage. Uh, so if, if he's willow taunt, I guess yeah, flamethrower, flamethrower, um, shadow ball, or maybe sub shadow ball or something like that. Anyways, I'm trying to think here. Mm. If that's the case, I could go into Honor Guard. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to double into Honor Guard. Uh, I don't know what he wants to do, what his attacks are. But if he's Willow, um, obviously Willow Taunt. Um, he does have Shadow Ball. Okay. But still, this this is fine. This is fine. It was, it was the correct play to make, he didn't really have a move to hit me with. And uh, once again, I'm free to just drop a Draco on this man's soul. Because he can't, he has no switches to Draco. Uh, his best play, honestly, would be to possibly bring in Scrafty, predicting me to Dark Falls. But, uh, which is exactly what he does do. Uh, it was a play I considered, but then I realized he does have the Scrafty, so just dropping a Draco is, is my better play. There's no reason not to. There's like legitimately no reason not to. And uh, I end up getting a crit there. I don't think the crit mattered. If anything, I don't think Kudlam uh, or Scrafty has uh, access to priority like a mock punch. I outspeed it with, um, I mean, if anything, what he would have done is if he would have lived that, he would have just wasted another PP with a uh, Draco Meteor. Maybe he would have switched out, but I don't think anything even then, I still outspeed everything, something would have died. So. So, yeah. That's uh, that's that. Hydreigon is up three kills, and his best play, honestly, would I don't know what his best play is. He brings back in the Chandelier. I fear nothing from the Chandelier, though. That's a problem. I don't fear anything from the Chandelier. I'm just gonna drop another Draco. I'm just gonna drop another Draco. I don't fear anything from the Chandelier. His only attacking move, uh. Maybe he has Dazzling Gleam to hit me, I don't know. But even at minus two, uh, it still should be doing a decent amount of damage. Uh, or not. That is specially defensive AF. And he's gonna... He misses the Will-O-Wisp, that is unfortunate. I kinda wanna let this Hydreigon get burned, but at the same time, I'm not doing anything to this thing, so... That burn... That, that burn sucks, actually, though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so what I'm gonna do is... I'm going to go into Young Fog, and then I'm going to pivot into my Azumarill on the Shadow Ball or Taunt. You should predict this, he doesn't. Okay. There's no way he's double Willow Wisp beam right here. That that would that's not his best play as to double Willow Wisp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, pivot again into my Azumarill and then Aqua Jet kills from there. And then if he wants to double into Garchomp, then I double... Uh, if he wants to go into Garchomp on my Aqua Jet, that's fine, because I do have my Hydreigon. Or not my Hydreigon, my... Uh, oh, he Shadow Balls. He just straight Shadow Balls. Nice. Good play. And he gets a special defense drop. 
So he is getting a little bit of revenge hacks. Unfortunately for him, the revenge hacks he's getting uh, doesn't matter at all. Uh, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to click play uh, Aqua Jet. He should see this coming. Um, he does, but I don't think he has anything. He can't really stop it. Um, he, he had nothing. I mean, he could have switched into Garchomp, but then again, he was kind of at a, a, a predicament where he was like, I don't know what to do, so... What I'm gonna do here is, I guess, yeah, I just bring in Coffer. I just bring in Coffer on the uh, Iron Head? Wait, he can't actually Dragon Claw me, though. So I guess I could have brought in Honor Guard and Draco. But, yeah, there's the Iron Head. I forgot I was Fairy. I forgot I was Fairy. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking Dragon Claw, but no. Nah. Gonna Willow here, and then Pain Split on the next turn. So he's gonna Dragon Claw me. I still don't know what item this is. Or I guess he's Rocky Hum at the same guard shop as he was before. So I, I did have a little bit of an advantage knowing his, uh, the person's set. Uh, going into this game, I knew a couple of his sets. I didn't know all of his sets, but I did know a couple of them. So you could say that's an advantage, but I mean, that's a part of the league format is uh, taking all the advantages. And uh, yeah, so now that that thing's burned, uh, I'm just gonna paint split off of him and then I guess Fire Blast on the next turn. Because it's it's a wrap at this point in time. It is a wrap. His Garchomp's burned. He can't uh, kill me off. Weezing is doing what the Weezing needed to do. Poor man's, um, poor man's uh, check to uh, Garchomp right here. He is going to set up an SD. That's fine. Uh, if I miss my Fire Blast, that's also fine. I don't. Uh, I probably should have just went straight away for uh, Sludge Bomb. But... Nah. I'll go for a Sludge Bomb this turn, we'll see which, if, it, if it does anymore. I'm not supposed to be doing like much damage, it's just like an attack. So, I'm gonna go for a Sludge Bomb right here, um, as he is going to go for an Iron Head. I guess he's realizing that, I guess, like, he's trying to go for the flinches, which it doesn't matter if he gets the flinches or not, because it's game over anyways. Sludge Bomb's doing a little bit more, that's fine. So, I'm trying to think here. I kind of want to switch, but at the same time, there's no reason to switch. Uh, so... I'm just going to uh, Willow here, just because I can, and then Weezing actually gets a kill. An unlikely, unlikely, but uh, yeah, that's it. He's going to go for a flinch, uh, Iron Head, hopefully he gets a flinch, I'd feel a little bit better if he does, but he doesn't, so I just go for a Willow, hit, and that is the game. So I get a nice, solid 6-0 victory, uh, my first match playing. Weezing gets a kill, Hydreigon gets three kills, Conkelder gets one kill, and Asmeral also gets a kill. So we will have to save this game forward it on, but hopefully you guys did enjoy that League Battle. If you did, be sure to stick around for more League Battles. I will definitely be uh, trying to cover all of them uh, for Week 2. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.